Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about whether you should use a two-wire or a four-wire smoke detector. Today I have a two-wire smoke detector, but the four-wire smoke detector of this particular model looks exactly the same, and they do the same thing. So why use a two-wire or a four-wire? The main difference between the two-wire and the four-wire smoke detector is that one works with two wires and one works with four wires. A two-wire smoke detector has a pair of wires going back and connecting to the alarm system. These two wires handle power and data for the smoke detector. On a four-wire smoke detector, this is broken up. So one pair is going to be for the data connection and one pair is going to be for the power connection. Either of these smoke detectors actually need their power to be cut when an alarm occurs so that they can reset. On a two-wire smoke detector, if you have it connected to a Vista alarm system, Zone 1 on that Vista alarm system has a power reset feature. That means is that when this two-wire smoke is connected to that alarm system, after an alarm occurs and the user disarms the alarm system, that's going to temporarily cut power to the smoke detector so that it can reset. It's a really nice aspect of a two-wire smoke with a Vista system or any other system that does that particular function. A four-wire smoke detector has two wires dedicated for its power and two, wire for, two wires for its data. What that lets you do is gives you a little more flexibility for installation because you can install it on a system that doesn't have a dedicated power reset terminal like a Vista. You could wire up the smoke detector to a relay and a power supply so that the power could be cut when whatever particular alarm system goes into alarm so that the smoke detector can reset. So as you can see, depending on what installation you're gonna put the smoke detector into, could change whether you're gonna use a two-wire smoke detector or a four-wire smoke detector. If you have a wireless system also, there's an even better chance that you're not going to use a wired smoke detector at all and you just put a wireless one up. If you do have a Vista system or a system with a power reset function on it though, the two-wire smoke is going to be easier to install as you just have to get a pair of wires from the alarm system to the smoke detector, wire it up, and then you're good to go. On the Vista system, as an example, you can install more than one two-wire smoke onto that single terminal. All you have to do is wire them up in parallel, put a resistor at one of the smokes to be that end of line resistor. Ideally, you wanna put it on the one furthest away from the panel so that the whole line is supervised and you'll be good to go. Now let's talk about power supervision on a four wire smoke. On a four wire smoke, we have two connections for data, two connections for power. Our data connection is likely going back to our alarm panel to an open zone and our power connection is likely going back to either the alarm panels, power output, or an auxiliary power supply. Most smoke detectors are normally open, so if something happens to the power connection to the smoke detector, there's nothing in the smoke detector that's going to tell us that something's wrong with the device. What you can do to remedy this is install a power supervision relay module, and if you have questions about installing these or how to set it up, check our website out or give us a call because it can be tricky and a little confusing. Basically what this does is that it sits and it monitors the power connection to the smoke detector. If something goes wrong with the power, the relay is going to open and put the smoke into trouble, telling you or us that something happened to the power coming to the smoke detector. This is a really helpful device, especially if you have four wire smokes installed because you do want to know if they have power applied to them or not. You just have to make sure that the smoke detectors that you do install don't exceed the maximum amount that the panel can handle. And if you check the panel's installation manual, it will tell you what it can do or not. So again, if you do have any questions about whether or not you should use a two wire or four wire smoke, what works for your system, or really if you should go wireless in general, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmbird.com or head to our website, www.alarmbird.com. Did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.